wake up, I wanna sing and shout For every blessing and good thing that you do I know that it's true And so I'm gonna choose community garden. The other day, there was a giant storm. After the storm, the garden was a mess. We needed some big help. So all my friends came to help. Josie spent all morning picking up all the sticks and branches that fell down. The rain made the weeds grow super fast. So my friend Eli helped pull lots of weeds. And the rain made all the food go really fast. So my friend Brandy helped pull lots of strawberries and asparagus. It's so great for all my friends to be helping together. Hoo, hoo. It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Hoo, hoo. Working hard in the garden, were you? Yes, I was, Ollie. My friends and I have been working together to take care of the garden after the storm. It's good to have friends. It's true. I have a story about some friends for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. There we go. All done. Oh, hey, friends. I'm Luis. Have you ever seen one of these? It's a flower box. I made it for my friend Maria who lives in an apartment building downtown. She can put this on her balcony and grow vegetables right in the city. <laughs> I love helping out my friends. In fact, that reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, guys. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. There we go. Today's true story from the Bible is about two good friends. 
First, there was David. David was a shepherd and took care of sheep. Then there was Jonathan. Jonathan was the son of the king and lived in a palace. David and Jonathan were very good friends. They loved spending time together. They ate together. They walked together. One time, Jonathan was so thankful for his friend, David, that he took off his own coat and gave it to him. <laughs> then gave him his sword and his bow. He even gave him his belt. <laughs> wow. David was so thankful that God gave him Jonathan to be his good friend. Now, I have a question for you. Everyone, make a question face. Hmm. What can we do to show God we are thankful for friends? Let's come up with some ideas. Hmm. We can share things with them, like our toys, rides on our scooters. We can even share food from our garden. Mm, that's good. <laughs> okay, so we can share things with our friends. Hmm, what else can we do? Oh, oh, I've got one. We can use our mouths to say kind words. Let's practice. Everyone say, I like your shoes. I like your shoes. Let's do one more. Everyone say, you are so nice. You are so nice. Great job. So, we can use our mouths to say kind things. We can share. What else can we do to show that we are thankful for our friends? We can draw them a picture for their birthday. Or help them clean up. Or give them a fist bump. Woo! <laughs> There are lots of ways we can show God that we are thankful for our friends. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. David and Jonathan were thankful they were friends, and we can thank God for our friends too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, David and Jonathan were so thankful for each other. We can thank God for our friends too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Oh, look! It's almost lunchtime. I'm gonna ask my mom if my friends wanna come over and eat strawberries from the garden. I'll see you next time. Bye! the Lord with my whole heart, Psalm 111.1. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart, Psalm 111.1. One. 